Today's lesson is Lesson 7, Lines, Segments, and Rays, and Linear Measure. So we have three different types of, of segments or lines, mathematical lines. Okay. So the first type is we have what's called a segment. A segment has a beginning and an end, which is shown by dots. Okay. The second type is a ray. A ray has a beginning, usually with a dot or sometimes just blank, and an arrow that points off to one side. Now, the arrows show that this line continues on forever. I could keep going and going and going and it will never stop. Okay. Now, a mathematical line has arrows in both directions, therefore showing that this line is never ending. It will continue on forever. When we're measuring something, we tend to measure with segments because they have a sure beginning and end. Now, when we measure, there are two different units that we can use. There's U.S. customary and there's the metric system. Okay. So the U.S. customary is measured in inches, which is about the width of your thumb, feet, which is the length of the ruler, or 12 inches, a yard, which is three feet, or 36 inches, and is about the same as one long step. And then we have miles, which is 5,280 feet. And it's about the distance you can walk in 20 minutes. Now on the metric system, we have millimeters, which is how thick a dime is, centimeters, which is the thickness of your pinky or little finger, and that equals 10 millimeters, a meter, and that's a little bit bigger than a yard, and that equals 10 centimeters. And then a kilometer, which is how, is how far you can walk in 12 minutes, and that's about a thousand meters, or that is a thousand minute, meters. So when we have segments, we want to measure them using rulers. On this one, it says, how long is this line segment? Okay. So first thing we're going to look at is to see where does the line go to. My line goes to this point. So this will give me a mixed number. So I have the whole number one. I know this is longer than one inch, but shorter than two. So that means it has to be one inch and then a fraction. To know the fraction, I'm going to count how many tick marks, these little marks here, there are between the one and the two. So it looks like this. We count one, two, three, four. There are four marks between the one and the two, so my denominator will be four. The segment goes to the first mark, so that means it would be one-fourth. This line is one and one-fourth inches long. Okay, this line segment is measured in centimeters. With centimeters, each of the little tick marks in here is one millimeter. And there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. So there's 10 marks between the one and the two. Okay. So on this one, I can look and I can measure it two ways. The first way is the line goes right to the two. So that means that it is 22 centimeters. Now I know that one centimeter equals 10 millimeters, right? So two centimeters is going to equal 20 millimeters. If this line went a little bit farther, say it goes to there, there would be again two ways I could show this. So it would be two centimeters plus how many millimeters? I'd have to count. One, two, three, four. So it would be two centimeters plus four millimeters. Or I could say that it is 20 millimeters, 21, 22, 23, 24. 
I could say that it's 24 millimeters long. On this next problem, it says select the appropriate unit for measuring the length of a soccer field. Centimeters, meters, or kilometers. Well, a soccer field would be thousands of centimeters. So that's, oops, so that's not the right answer. I don't want thousands of centimeters to write down. Meters is a good number to use. Okay? And then a kilometer is so big, because it's a thousand meters, that my answer would be in a decimal or a fraction form. So meters is the best way to measure a soccer field. Okay? And that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.